Dude, dude, you got your own photographer and everything, bro. That's awesome. Yeah, well, I looked at your Instagram and it's sick. You do some good stuff. No freaking way. Dude, yeah, yeah, I was checking it out. We were, we were, we were checking it out. Uh, but I started competing in kickboxing and got up to 57 and 0 in kickboxing. Did pretty much everything I could do with that. And then I started training with guys like George St. Pierre, Rashad Evans, Nate Marquardt. They were, Evans, that's sick. Yeah, they were bringing me in for to simulate fighters. So I'm like, I got, became good friends with George. So I'm like, I'm training with these high level MMA guys. Why not switch from kickboxing? Because I did everything I could with kickboxing to MMA. So uh, 2010, had my first MMA fight, got up to 5 and 0. UFC called. And I was going to turn them down because, you know, um, most of my career has been stand-up. I felt like I wasn't ready for the wrestling and the jiu-jitsu, you know? It's a different aspect of fighting. Yeah, man. So, but the age of 12, my dad took me to my first UFC event. It was UFC 2 in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I told my dad then I was going to do this one day. So he was like, listen, you can go out there, make the best of it. I mean, what's the worst thing that can happen? You lose? You probably never get this opportunity again. So, did it. Man, I knocked the guy in the first round, went viral. Oh, nice. She's been along for the ride ever since, to be honest with you. That's awesome, man. Fought for the title twice, didn't end, didn't make it. First time I fought Tyron is at MSG, the very first card. It was it was a crazy fight. We was, uh, fought to a draw. We fought again. It was controversial. He ended up pulling it out. And uh, ranked number four right now. So working my way back up to that title shot again. That's awesome. Man. That's awesome. Good for you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Met Chris actually with his first fight in Anderson, uh, with Anderson Silva. So. Oh, so you met him on that fight? Yeah, he uh, uh, crazy he fight to me. A, le a legendary fight right well, there. Legendary <laughs> fight. He brought me in. He brought me in to simulate Anderson. Nice. Okay. So, uh, and after that, been a part of his camps ever since. So we became good friends. And next thing you know, my brother is marrying his sister. Oh, no way. Now we're. Pretty much family. Good family. Yeah. Now you're stuck for life. Yeah. <laughs> now, he, now he's got to take me. He's got to say so. That's I awesome. have to answer That's to his awesome sister. <laughs> Stuff smells good. So dude. this product I'm putting in your hair? Yeah. It's uh, it's it's the product we carry at the shop. Um, what I'm putting in your hair right now is gonna leave like a like a natural look, but a little bit of a gloss finish. Yeah. So it's not gonna be like too gritty. It's not gonna be like too wet, like you put a pomade in. Yeah. But it's gonna keep that nice hold. So they have different products, like different. This one's called Rough. But it's so yeah. So the, the, but the brand is Muck. The brand is Muck. Okay. Right? okay. So so there's like categories in between, you know, like how it how it leaves your hair, how it finishes on the top of your hair. Yeah. Check this out, man. Got that fresh fade yeah. by my man Steve right here. Okay. Call, man. Look at this. Look at this. Colton, come here. You want to eat? High and tight, looking fresh. Come here. Man, you are the man. <laughs>